Understanding who you are can help determine how much exercise you need. Here to help us discover your strengths and weaknesses, Ayurvedically, is wellness coach Nadja Andriva. Nadja, welcome. Thank you for having me. Now, before someone starts making decisions about exercise Ayurvedically, they need to understand their dosha, which you have already, you've, you've already worked up my dosha, but there's only one small problem. I don't even know what a dosha is. Well, dosha Ayurvedically is your unique mind-body type. And that determines your likes, dislikes, your strengths, weaknesses, your ability to lose weight, mm -hmm. and your inclination to gain weight. And it also offers ways that would be the best for you to exercise in terms of whether you would exercise um, in a more relaxing way or in a more strenuous way. Mm -hmm. And is it like a personality thing, or how does it how does that work? The the actual the dosha well, itself. Well, it's both personality and your body. Um, so it's going to determine from how skinny or overweight the person mm -hmm. could become, what they like in terms of food, um, whether they do well with aerobic or weight exercises, right. or whether certain exercise would be too depleting for them and they need to focus more on nourishing types of exercise. Now, one of the interesting things that I understand is that Ayurvedic medicine uh, suggests that you only exercise at about 50% of your, and I can't even imagine doing that. And no, I, I, to tell you the truth, 50% of my intensity is like, meh, I don't want to go there, but it's still pretty high. Why is that? Well, Ayurvedically speaking, exercise is a way to maintain health. It's a way to keep your body energized and to keep your life force or prana smoothly fl flowing through your entire body. So the whole perception of using exercise as only for weight loss is not close to Ayurvedic understanding of exercise. Mm -hmm. In Ayurveda, 50% um, is given as a guideline so the person feels energized, not depleted after exercise. Mm -hmm. And over time, that 50% increases quite high so the person doesn't feel fatigued, they don't feel drained, depleted, or even sore as much. But compared to other people who are always exercising and depleting their body, or tearing their muscles, they're gonna be in a much better shape and health. Well, now I like, I just gotta ask a personal question. There's nothing that gives me more satisfaction than throwing 400 pounds on my back or picking, you know, and squatting or picking up six. Can I, can I even do that from an Ayurvedic uh, standpoint? Or are there certain things that one shouldn't do? Well, okay, so if you do that, then you need to choose a few balancing activities afterwards, okay. which could be some slow type stretching, or maybe an oil massage um, or a warm bath. Mm -hmm. So you nourish your body after using it. It's not always against your body. You're not trying to tear the muscles. And the truth is this corresponds with everything we know from Western science as well, which is that you need, your body gets stronger and you get yeah. better when you're recovering, not while you're actually working out. It's, is, is that sort of what this is about, that always establishing that balance, the yin and yang of, of exercise? Yeah, exactly. So you always want to find balance, whether it means for finding more nourishing type of activity, so you're not pushing 400 pounds mm -hmm. every single day, mm -hmm. or finding an exercise that you can maintain for five to seven days a week, but that keeps you energized, not the type where you feel completely depleted after. I have a question I really need help with. Yeah. I despise working out early in the morning. Like, I absolutely hate it. And from what I understand, Ayurvedic tradition tells you what there, there are better times yeah. to work out. So when should one work out during the day? Well, ideally, Ayurveda advises to work out early in the morning. Mm -hmm. uh, but what Ayurveda considers an exercise is basically... The, the whole goal is to get your blood circulation going, to get okay. your lymph moving. So even if you jump around um, in your kitchen before your tea or coffee boils, mm -hmm. do 10 dump, jumping jacks. I don't know if my downstairs neighbors would appreciate that. It'll be fine. <laughs> you can do 10 push-ups. I weigh over 200 pounds. I don't think it'll be fine. Maybe if you okay. do it, it'll be fine. You can <laughs> dance. Just as long as you move, move around. Even, even if you stretch in your bed while lying down, that's going to get your blood.